Hi everyone, this is Dr. Israel and I'm here to share my story of how I transitioned from being a nurse to becoming a medical doctor. But before we get into that, let's have a background story on my nursing experience and then how I ended up finding myself in nursing. Let's go. Alright, the first question is this, why nursing in the first place? Was it just available or you decided to choose nursing? Well, my dream and that of my family had always been studying medicine, but then I tried getting into medical school and I wasn't able to, to get in. Uh, I wasn't even given the opportunity to write the exams. That's how bad it was. So I felt so low and I had to go for nursing. Uh, my mom was like, well, this is the next available thing. Why don't you take it? So I had to go back to uh, the country where I live with my family and then I went to nursing school and then that's how I found, I found myself in, uh, I found myself studying nursing. So I will say that that is what was available at that point in time that I wanted to do. All right. So did you at any time try to pull out of nursing school? No, I never tried pulling out of nursing school because when I started, it became an amazing process. I started enjoying every bit of it. I had amazing group mates. I had uh, also amazing teachers and uh, where I was studying was really, really great. So I didn't try to pull, off, pull out of nursing school. I started enjoying my time studying nursing. Yes. Oh yeah, great. The next question, did you enjoy nursing or got used to it? No, I didn't get used to it. I would say I enjoyed it because um, I spent some time in the hospitals in practice. I had amazing group mates, like I earlier said. Uh, we studied together. We, you know, we pushed each other to go to, to get better. And also while studying nursing, it was just not about, it was not just nursing, but I had the opportunity to delve into other spheres of my, uh, of life, you know, and uh, I really enjoyed my time studying nursing. Yeah. How was your nursing practice experience? I would say up till date, it's still one of my best uh, experience uh, because I spent quite a lot of time in the hospital. Uh, I had times when I went on five night, sh five straight night shifts. And if you're working in the hospital setting, you know what that looks like. You know, it's like literally by the fifth day, I could barely open my eyes, but then I can tell you categorically that I can't trade and I won't trade that experience for anything. It was beautiful. I also remember my first experience of childbirth where I walked into uh, the labor room uh, and then I saw there was this lady who was giving birth and I almost ran out. It was in a Catholic hospital. So uh, one the Reverend sisters were conducting the delivery and then there's a nurse. She pulls me back. She's like, hey, come. Uh, I think I was around 18 or 19 uh, at that point in time. And she's like, you know, you're going to do this for the rest of your life. Hey, come here, come here, come, come join us, come help us. And it was a very, very uncomfortable time for me because I was like, oh my God, this is so much more. What am I even doing here? Everything. And then it was quite difficult. But then after that day, uh, this one of the senior nurses called me and, and then she gave me some tips and she was like hey you know what at this point in time you're doing your job so don't get distracted stay focused i know you're going to be uncomfortable the first few times but come on you're going to be doing this for a very long time so just get used to it and do what you have to do and stuff like that i still remember that day after work i called my dad you know i was like dad this is what happened and then we had a little talk and everything and then but i can tell you uh it was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. Uh, for me, during my time of practicing as a nurse, uh, a few things marked me. The miracle of childbirth, and as I said, that's one of the biggest and the most amazing things. And then, shout out to all women. Man, you guys are strong. I, I give it to you guys. You guys are very, very, very strong and amazing. And also, um, I can see the sadness of death. Uh, yeah. I think over my time during practicing, I saw my experience a few deaths here and there. And uh, it wasn't always easy, but then, you know, we had to do what we had to do. All right, enough of the sad part. Let's go on. Why medicine instead of pursuing other opportunities in nursing? All right, uh, this question for this, first of all, I would say I wasn't so enlightened with other possibilities or careers. Uh, in the nursing field and also uh, one other thing that shaped me was the fact that i already wanted to study medicine but then all through my time in the nursing school every time i walked into the ward to attend to patients or to carry out a procedure the patients always confused me for a doctor 
every time they saw me they were like the doctor is here you know and some of the elder nurses I worked with or the matrons and you know they always told me hey you're gonna make a fine doctor why don't you think about medicine and I was like hey I've always thought of doing that and they're like no go for it you're gonna make an amazing medical doctor so uh, coupled with the fact that I had always wanted to do it my mom was like hey you know what my son you've always wanted it I've always wanted it so let's go ahead and push for it and then yes that is why I continued with the parts to medicine and it is one I enjoyed thoroughly and I can say I am still enjoying so do you regret studying medicine in retrospect I'm categorically going to say no I don't regret studying medicine at all no I don't and here is the reason I enjoyed every bit of it I was able to go on internships uh, back in Africa I was able to do a lot of things I've always dreamt of doing I was able to take part in surgeries you know uh, being able to see someone in so much pain and then you take the person into the theater and then when you come out with the person the person is so relieved the person is doing amazing great and I'm like there's no better feeling than that so yes uh, so yeah I'm gonna say I don't regret studying medicine in fact if you take me back to medical school I'm gonna get more serious with study because I'm gonna get more serious than the way I studied yes I'm gonna study better I'm gonna pay attention to more stuff and all of that and yeah the next question what's the next career choice the next career choice all right uh, during my time in nursing and during my time uh, uh, of internships as a medical student and all of that uh, one thing I noticed was the fact that uh, the state of a lot of health facilities especially in Africa because uh, that's why I did quite a lot of internship are uh, not in the best state and not just that I also noticed that a lot of policies across different countries really make it difficult for health practitioners and health personnel to be able to administer a high level of care and if you're not able to administer a high level of care Come on, the patients are always going to find themselves, you know, in the same cycle, having to come back to the hospital over and over again, and all of that. So, uh, it somehow shaped me, and then I started looking at the medical field or the health field from a larger, or from a bigger perspective, and that was what pushed me into getting into health administration. So, I did a master's, a double master's in business administration slash health administration, and I'm also looking at doing another master's program in either public health or global health and my reason for doing that is this I am so interested in the policies that govern the health sector in the world uh, in Africa in Nigeria in the world at large and I really believe that if we can have better policies if we can have uh, uh, structures that are set in place you know we're going to be able to have a very very standard health sector that can take care of people take care of the basic needs you know it's it's so difficult seeing that uh, a community without a health center without you go sometimes to the hospital you see a doctor has to take care of 15 20 patients sometimes 60 sometimes you see in a whole community there's just one doctor sometimes there are just two or three nurses and all of that and realize that vaccines don't get to the people they have to get to you know something happens along the line probably it's not well um, structured and all of that so i'm really seeing myself getting into health administration i'm seeing myself getting into policy making when it comes to the health field so yes i'm looking at global health public health becoming a health administrator becoming a health manager and yeah trying to do or contribute my own quota to be able to influence the health field or the health sector and make sure that people have the best uh, level and the highest level of medical care that they can get yeah and then finally to round up this video uh, i'm going to tell you uh, medicine has always been an integral part of my life it's something i've always loved and for me, even if I can't find myself practicing in the hospital, I want to find myself in a place where I can come up with policies and make decisions that can shape and change the lives of both medical personnel and also, you know, make life better for the patients. So feel free to send me an email, feel free to send me, uh, to send me a DM and so we can talk and then I can be able to answer all your questions. Thank you very much for coming on this episode.